Hello everyone, my name's Barb, and I'm the Trollbridge Vlogger. I'm here today with a very large book haul. First, I'm going to haul my arcs and books sent to me by authors. Then, I have a book outlet book haul. And then I have a book haul from the public library. My son and his children, my son Garland, his girlfriend Jenny, my grandson Isaac, my grandson Justin, and my grandson Jason. They all bought me a load of books from a library sale. I got the ones here that I'm going to keep. The other ones I've already given away. And I don't do one hauls because I give them away immediately if I'm not going to read them. So, first, this is from HarperCollins, One Minute Later, by Susan Lewis. I thought it was okay. Uh, I gave it four stars. The first 200 pages is a slow burn. After that it picks up and it's really, really good after that. But I have to admit I had a hard time getting through the first 200 pages. Next, I have the Lemon Sisters. By Jill Shalvis. This was okay too. I think I gave it three stars or 3.5. What well, just wasn't for me, it was too contemporary. Okay, then I have Island Jewel by May McGoldrick. McGoldrick. I haven't read this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It's the kind of romance I like. Then I have Into the Dark. This is set in Cincinnati, where I live, and I'm anxious to find out any references it actually has to Cincinnati or if it's just a lot of monologue. I don't know yet, but I'm anxious to find out because that's where I live. Okay, and then I have 21 Truths About Love by Matthew Dix. This is a thriller told entirely in list. Let's see, I guess that's what gets him caught because he keeps list of everything. But I'm looking forward to this. It's different, something new. I'm always willing to try something new. Then I have Delia, or as the author pronounces it, Delia. His name is David Skidmore. And this was really good. I really like this. It's um, a fantasy. Um, there's portals and there's different magic. Um, Delia, she is a protector of the, the realm. Um, and the main guy is John and he is trying to make a black hole in his laboratory. He's a physicist. And something happens and apparently his experiment works because he gets sucked in him and his friend Megan that he works with into this vortex, black hole, wormhole, whatever it is, into this other world, which is called Neardom. Uh, then he meets Gareth. Gareth is a outlaw. He 
heat has been put out of the kingdom. Uh, he used to be a protector. Him and a girl named Kayleen used to be very close, best friends, and apparently she's what got him kicked out of the society. But, um, there's a lot of interesting characters, um, there's a lot of action, and I really loved it. I thought it was right up there with Tolkien and Stephen R. Donaldson and um, Terry Brooks, the godfathers of sci-fi, I guess you could say. I'm not sci-fi, but fantasy. Uh, and last but not least, I have The Golden Hour which I'm reading now. It's by Beatrix Williams. And it's set in two different time periods so far. 1931 and 1900. And the character from 1931 is named Lulu. And the one from 1900's Elfried, Elfried, it's, I think it's German. Uh, I just barely started this on like on page 41 or something. So I really don't know much about it yet. Okay, that's all of my review books. Let me put these over here real quick out of the way. Okay, now I have my book outlet. I already took it out of the box. My grandson likes to play with the box, so. So first I have Shadowcaster by Cindy Williams Chima. And I also have Stormcaster by her. This is book two and three. I don't have book one yet. But I have a lot of her books. I've read some. I like her. And I have Lullaby, which is part of a series. It's not the thrill series, but it's a different series uh, by Amanda Hawking. I have a lot of her books also. Then, I have Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. Oh, this has been big around book two. Everybody pretty much knows that it's a series, a Mars Ryer series, Noah Shaw. I don't know which, where this goes in the series because I haven't read any of them yet. I only have this one and the Unbecoming of Mars Ryer. Bone Jack. Bone Jack I know nothing about. Nothing. It just looks like it would be my kind of book. This is claws ripping at skin. Yeah, it's, it's a horror, I guess. And then I have Traitor to the Throne, which this was a mistake by, because I already have this in soft cover, and I have the first one in soft cover. I still don't have the third one. Um, Alwyn Hamilton. That's her name. Alwyn Hamilton. It's part of the Rubble in the Sand series. I have Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. Um, I think this is middle grade. I like middle grade. I like books in any grade. It's as long as they're on a subject that I like. Little Monsters sounds like something I like. Uh, I have The Gilded Wolves. This has been out for a 
Four Months, I think, by Roshana Chotsky. I have several of her books. Um, I really don't know what this is about. But it's blurred by some great authors, Renee Audier, Lanny Taylor, Stephanie Garber, Holly Black, Adrienne Young. So, we'll see. I think it's a changeling kind of book. And I have The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. The Other Woman. It's a thriller. I have a lot of thrillers. So top shelf is thrillers. I have some down here. And I have a big haul of thrillers from my son. And here's one I'm disappointed with in Book Outlet. They sent me one with a torn cover. I don't know if I should complain or not. I need to look and see how much I paid for it. That's a pretty good book though. I will try to fix the cover. And I have Dragon's Apprentice by James A. Owen. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to say who Crown of Feathers was by. How Freight Freightful? Okay, The Dragon's Apprentice by James Owen. I'm going to try to collect this whole series. I like dragon stories. I got a bunch. And last but not least from Book Outlet is The Thousands Floor. And that is by Catherine McGee. I have the whole series now. So soon I can read it. Okay. I'm going to have to get up and move some books. So I'm just going to put be put away. And move on to the other two sets. Okay, sorry. I have a lot of books, so they take up a lot of space. Oh, this also came from Book Outlet. Colorado Kid by Stephen King. Now, on to... Oh, no. These two are also from Book Outlet. Ever True by Brody Ashton. I have a few of her books. And Tide. By Holly Black. I'm starting to collect hers. Okay, now, these are books from my son and my grandkids and my son's girlfriend. They got them at a book sale at the library in Iowa. I don't know if it was in Waterloo or Cedar Falls somewhere around there. So first we have Cujo from Stephen King. Then we have Sitting Bull by Ernie LaPointe. My son knows I like history, so especially Native American history. I have The Rising by Tim Lahane and Jerry B. Jenkins. These are all thrillers or horror. Okay. Life Sentences. Hmm. 
Hold on. Let me fix this glare. better. Life sentences. My Alice Blanchard. Author of The Breathtaker. Never heard of it. Never heard of this one, I don't think. And I have If Looks Could Kill by Kate White. Next, I know this is horror because this is John Saul, Black Lightning. I'm sure I'm going to like this. I used to read a lot of his books, but I haven't recently because there's so many other authors now that I kind of let go of a lot of my older authors that I read all the time because it was mostly horror, a little fantasy. Now I'm reading a lot of fantasy and a little horror and a lot of thrillers. The Slow Moon by Elizabeth Cox. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. It says it's a touching book. I don't usually read emotional contemporary here and now kind of books. Okay, and we have Statute of Limitations by Tamar Tamar Meyer Tamar Meyer And next I have two books by the same author. The first one here I've read which I really love, The Deep End of the Ocean. And this is an emotional book, and I don't usually read this kind of story, but it's about a child that goes missing, and I really enjoyed it. I would give this book five stars all day long. And the other one by her, by Jacqueline Michard, is Cage of Stars. Next, we have the Spy Mistress. I'm hoping this is good. I don't usually read spy stories, but since it's about a female protagonist, I think I'm going to read it. Next, I have a book by Lou Ann Rice, What Matters Most. I think this is contemporary. I don't know if it's a thriller or not, but I tried to keep just the thrillers and the books that I knew, authors that I knew. Okay, Bare Bones by Kathy Rikes. This one looks good. I think this is maybe a true story. It says learn more about the real cases and it's all it's inspired by a true story. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we have Fallen Angels by Daniel Daniel Silva. I think this is a newer book. That's not that long. Oh, no. Wrong stack. Year of Fog by Michelle Richmond. This one's got a missing child. There, 
that's better. Obstruction of Justice by Perry O'Shaughnessy. Second Sight by George G. Schumann. I'm sure this is like a paranormal thriller. And we have The Dangerous Hour by Marcia Muller. There we go. Next. Judgment Calls by Alvair Burke. Okay, I guess it works better back here. Alvair Burke. I've never heard of it. Can stack. Okay, next is Over Her Dead Body by Kate White. Ever Running Man by Marsha Muller. So I have two by her. And we have Drama City by George Pelicanos. Well, that one showed up really good. Only three more to go. We had oh, another Marshall Moore. Vanishing Point. I've heard of Vanishing Point before. So, I might have read her before. Next, All He Ever Wanted by Anita Shreve. There we go. Sorry about the glare my little office area. So. Lost Girls by George D. Schumann. So I have two by this author too. Okay. So that's it. You can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook. I am on Twitter as Mama Duke's author. I am on here as Barbara Sinveni, my name. Uh, I am the Troll Bridge blogger. Uh, I also have a poetry corner on Facebook. Um, thank you for all for watching. I appreciate it. I'll try to put everything I can in the box below. But I'm not perfect, so excuse me if I mess up. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to edit. Thank you all. You have a blessed day. If you like what you saw, hit like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you.